When Imogen arrives at the share house Levi struggles to show his enthusiasm, and when Eden suggests they head to Salt for lunch, his heart sinks. After receiving a text from Levi tipping her off, Mac is forced to make herself scarce from her own restaurant. Back in their hotel room, Imogen senses tension, wondering why Levi seems so distant. He brushes it off as fatigue, but when he finally joins her in bed it's Mac he's worried about, not his marriage. Imogen is upset the next morning as she confides in Eden over Levi's aloofness, worrying that she's losing him. As the pair end up outside the surf club, Mac is outside taking a delivery and is like a rabbit caught in the headlights when Eden calls her over to introduce Imogen. Whilst terrified of saying something that will drop her in it, Mac's curiosity takes over, and she quickly invites Imogen and Eden up to Salt for a coffee on the house. Mac is racked with guilt as she eavesdrops on Imogen and Eden's conversation, hearing how Imogen fears something has changed between them. When Imogen hears that Mac is a former patient of Levi's she insists that she join them at the table. Levi is horrified when he enters to find his wife and lover sitting together, and it leads to a somewhat awkward conversation when he sits down and Imogen ponders the idea of them moving to Summer Bay. Levi's seething when he hears that the coffee was Mac's idea and after claiming that they need to head back to the city so he can see some patients, Levi and Imogen head back to the motel to pack. Being in separate cars, Levi takes a diversion to the farmhouse and rude and furiously confronts Mac, are you deliberately trying to mess up my life? Mac argues that it was always going to be inevitable that she and Imogen came across each other, but when Levi points out that she instigated the whole thing, Mac admits that she was curious about the woman who he spent his life with. The two descend further into a blazing row, Mac can't deal with Levi anymore and tells him to get out and go home to his wife.